Welcome to the Cyber AAA Tip of the Day. I'm your host, Ron Werner, President and Chief Security Officer of Cyber AAA. Today's topic is OSINT, otherwise known as Open Source Intelligence. What is OSINT, or Open Source Intelligence, you may ask? Well, it's the pulling in of data from many different reference sites and resources across the internet, or maybe even paper copy. For example, news sites and forums and blogs, reviews, of course, social networks such as Facebook, Insta, Snap, LinkedIn, Twitter, trade sites. We collect it, process, analyze, and from open source intelligence, we can create a whole dossier, a whole picture of a person, enterprise, or organization. In the military, we would also use this to perform reconnaissance, to get a complete picture of an entity before we would perform any type of attack. We can use it as part of our penetration testing, red teaming, or the blue team to know where potential vulnerabilities lie. It's a common first step today in performing penetration tests and vulnerability management. A common tool we use to start with our open source intelligence is of course the world's number one hacking tool. It's Google. To use Google effectively as a part of OSINT, we go and use the advanced search capabilities. Let me show you an example using Google. So for example, if I wanted to search for a specific term such as all the security awareness articles from CNN, but that are just PDFs. You can see where I'm searching just on the site CNN, looking for file types of PDF. Now you can change this to a .doc if you just want to find documents, Excel spreadsheets. There are a lot of different choices. Now I have the ability, once I perform the search under settings, to look at the advanced search. This is using the advanced search site on Google. You can see the specific areas I completed. If you have not spent time on here, I highly recommend it not only for cybersecurity, but to better refine your search capabilities. Another common tool we use for open source intelligence is known as Shodan. It's a search engine that looks for all different types of internet connected devices. It looks through many different types of domains or IP addresses for information about that domain or that block. Let me show you a quick example. In this example, you see where I searched my university's site, bellevue.edu, using Shodan's hostname feature. And you can see all of the information that's available to anyone. So this is not a specific hacker tool, if you will. This is just the information that anyone can see. You can determine IP addresses, the types of servers used. For example, Bellevue University may be using a Microsoft Internet Information System Server. A lot of really good information available from Shodan looking directly into websites. So another common tool we use for open source intelligence. There are many other tools for open source intelligence, such as those you see here, the OSINT framework, Sublister, Spiderfoot, I love using Spiderfoot, to be able to see everything hidden within a website. Multigo and Creepy can be used to aggregate information about a particular person. And then PQ is also, maybe if you're doing recon against a person, Use these tools, though, at your own risk. Make sure you study how they can be used effectively and intelligently. This has been the Cyber AAA Tip of the Day. I'm your host, Ron Werner, talking about OSINT.